right, let's roll. Follow. We're going to 60 Wall Street. This is like the like the Parisian arcade where like all the ideas are. In here. There's eight meetings running simultaneously. There's 60, there's 85 working groups I heard today. I've been here since the 17th. I started on facilitation. And I'm extremely outgoing when it comes to getting people's contacts and making and networking. There was never a choice from as long as I can remember. I was always going to be doing something like this at some point. And I was frustrated not knowing when that was going to be. And then I saw this start to happen, and it was so on point. It was so exactly what needed to be happen. It was the discussion on the table. It had domestic and global implications. And I just set, saw it and I said, yes, I'm going to go there. And I'm going to do this with everything I have. That idea, that like revolutionary possibility had been like was was sown in Cairo for me. I mean, I like I saw it. And that's like you know one of those things where you know, no one predicts it, no one sees it. It seems completely impossible uh, outside of any sort of like you know historical pattern. Just kaboom. Here we go, guys! Don't get We want to shut down. We want to shut down. Donate button, the the blue or the green? Green or blue, like there's some options. I was thinking that the links could be blue, but I think green certainly promotes action, makes people feel comfortable. Yeah. It says money, it says go. Green means go, yeah. I've been working in the international arena for now six years, and I decided that I needed a break. And then I was also deciding that I don't want to work for large institutions anymore. And um, then this came about and was just like, perfect. <laughs> we craft narratives. I mean, that's part of action planning. What is the action for? What is the outcome of it? What is the message we want people to walk away with? And through that, also being highly engaged and highly aware of how our actions and the things we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis affect people all over the world. Look at the faces of these young people. Look, Look at the faces, faces of these young people. people. Look us in the eye. They are not hateful. They are not hateful. They do not despise you. We do not despise you. Please treat us as brothers and sisters. Please treat us as brothers and sisters. We are supporting your cause. We are supporting your cause. The cause of working people. The cause of working people. The cause of the police that doesn't get paid enough. The cause of the police that doesn't get paid enough. start the meeting is just taking a minute to be aware of all of the people around the planet who are engaged in this work with us right now. So we have a lot of groups here tonight, which is amazing. This could not be a movement. Occupy Wall Street could not be a movement without every single one of the working groups here. Can we just give it up for all the working groups? Hey everybody, when I got out of jail this morning, yeah, we love you, Andy. I thought a lot about you know, how we were going to continue and, and where we were going to go from here. It's a long fight. Everybody here knows that, I hope. And, and I think two answers to that are one, direct democracy, and secondly, direct action.
People need to get out there. They need to lose their fear. When 400 people raid the park and they take all our material things, that's nothing. It doesn't matter. This is a movement, and a movement's an idea. This is about social and economic justice, and you can't take that with 400 riot police. You cannot. We are the 99%.